You know what? While I have this guy open, I'm going to make a short video. Okay, what this is, is a DCC player. It's a little bit taken apart. <laughs> a lot taken apart. But the reason I'm making this video is it might help people that uh, have found one of these things. And they're, I don't know, to me, very cool. So this one is a Panasonic Digital Compact Cassette Deck. RSD. C10. Uh, if you buy it in other countries, this because this is the Japanese model, uh, it'll probably say techniques on it. Okay, so you bought this thing and you play a tape and basically there's either no volume or very little volume. This is like a, a usual problem with these decks. And I'm going to explain the usual way to fix it, it seems, from... Uh, I got this info from uh, Tape Heads. It was on a forum there. Uh, very knowledgeable people over there. So there are just two boards that you need to change the capacitors on. Um, the electrolytics on there, the aluminum can ones, need to be changed. And uh, let's take a look inside here. Um, usually right in the middle here would be the, um, the transport. Uh, where the cassette is, but uh, I've got that apart because I'm uh, going to buy the belts for it tomorrow um, uh, as part of the final thing. But this board right here is usually covered uh, with a um, with some shielding, which is just two easy screws to take it out. And let's remove it because there's nothing holding it. And you can see... On the left side, uh, where the yellow wire is, that I've changed all those capacitors, except the ones that, or the one that doesn't have any polarity at on the left side. Those ones do not need to be replaced. Um, and that's what it said on the forum, and that was my experience as well, because this thing is working now. So that is one board, and the other board is this one here and it's attached to the cassette mechanism so um, got to be careful with this it's kind of hard to see but it's um, coming off the head and uh, see on the bottom those capacitors that I changed so the ones on the right I changed and uh, the top ones, the ones on the top, now you have to be careful with those because I couldn't get that. It was, uh, so you, if you see 68 microfarad, 16 volt, I had trouble finding that. So I had to change them to these tungsten ones and be careful if you do that because the um, polarity is different. It's labeled as the positive part as the, uh, is the labeled instead of the negative like I've been accustomed with. So, um, yeah, I, I guess I might as well just show you. This is turned upside down, this transport, and I'm going to do the uh, belt. And it's just one belt, and it's just going across here. And uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow. And there are two belts that are very easy to do, and I figured I might as well just do it and this is for loading the transport. Um, you can just kind of see here, they go across. So one smaller belt there, and then one bigger belt there. And these are what the belts look like in this nice plastic bag, ready to go to Akihabara. Um, anyways, that's, that's about it. I hope this helps people, and uh, I know I would have um, appreciated this video, so I thought I'd make it. Anyways, I can't wait to hear this thing. Compare it to my MD player. Over and out.